Hi, I'm Erin Davey, and today I'm bringing to you an episode of Cosa Connectors, where we share some amazing digital tools you can use to express yourself. This episode is going to be a bit of a special one. I'm going to feature a few frameworks that I found during my research that I couldn't feature in their own videos. I think that they're still really cool and worth a mention, so we're going to go through them today. Links for these frameworks are going to be in the description. So let's get started. The Hype Framework is a rather large collection of classes to be used with processing. These classes provide an assortment of utility functions that make it easier for users to create complex generative images. On their website, you can find many examples that show off the capabilities of this framework. Each example comes with a video, the source code, and lists what classes and functions were used to create it. Nano is a creative coding framework for the language Rust. After using OpenGL and Vulkan, it has moved on to WebGPU to handle its graphics. It's powerful, fast, has support for multiple protocols, and seems to be easy to pick up with the help of their detailed guide. I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes popular as processing or open frameworks in the future. Shader Booth is an online editing environment for making face filters with fragment shaders and face detection provided by TensorFlow.js. You can find a list of uniforms and utility functions when you load the tool, so I think it's great for rapid prototyping and for anyone who's getting started with shaders. Curve is a fully functional programming language for creating 2D and 3D art using mathematics. It uses OpenGL and runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Curve is run from the command line. You can execute Curve files there to view the shape. If you so wish, you can launch a live editor that re-renders the shape on save by running your command with a special flag. You can choose the export models that you create to SCL, OBJ, and X3D files for 3D printing. Tool is a downloadable application for creating interactive three-dimensional executables and movies. It uses a graphical programming interface that's built on c -sharp and Shader language, so you can easily generate quick sketches or forge beautiful projects. It easily connects to third-party libraries by loading in their DLLs, which opens the door to receiving inputs from a variety of sensors. P5 Grid is my own implementation of hexagonal grids in P5.js. After defining grid parameters, each hexagon is assigned a coordinate such that you're able to manipulate each hexagon in a grid itself. There's an assortment of utility functions, and it's still rough in an alpha, but it has room to grow. All right, that's all I have for you today. Again, I'm Erin Davey, and you can catch me on Twitter at A-A-H underscore D-E-E -E underscore, or you can find me on Twitch at Cozy Coding, where I do a lot of creative coding streams. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!